Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today for my favorite products giveaway. Yes, in honor of my one year birthday on YouTube, I'm going to be doing a giveaway with some of the favorite products that I have discovered through the past year on YouTube. But first, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll just go ahead and subscribe and click that little bell that just notifies you of my future videos. Okay, let's get down to the giveaway and I will have all of the products in the giveaway listed below. But all you have to do to participate in the giveaway is you need to be a subscriber or go ahead and subscribe. And then you also just need to leave a comment below because then I will use the random comment picker to select the winner. Now before I go through the products that you can win, which they are my favorite products, I'm very excited about this giveaway, I ordered a few products from Octoli that I did little mini reviews on this morning and I'd like to share those with you. There are three Becca products including a great foundation which I really did enjoy and a primer from Becca and a little under eye concealer from Becca and then also a makeup brush that I ordered from Michael Todd and as you'll see in this little video clip I give you my honest opinion even if it's a pan for that particular product. This is a wonderful little primer and I've actually been wearing this for probably three or four days this week at work and I use the Smashbox Pore Minimizer that's really my favorite and I have to say it is probably still my favorite however for those of you ladies with smaller pores I do like this primer very very much it's Friday now but I think it was Tuesday and I wore this foundation and primer into work and the first thing my sister said is what have you been doing with your skin it's just beautiful and I am on the Tati vitamins and if you're not a subscriber I hope you'll subscribe to see my final results on the Tati vitamins I really don't think that her comments about my skin had to do with those Tati vitamins because I had just worn this primer uh, that morning in this foundation so I think she was really reacting to this and this primer does go on a little wet I have to say my Smashbox pore minimizer is more of a silicone feel and this feels a little more like water but it does give you a very luminous skin like finish and out of all my other primers I've tried I would say this is a strong number two and if I didn't have the large pores this would be my primer I do love this primer very very much okay now let's get into the foundation now I'm going to be using the Becca ultimate coverage complexion cream this is a very full coverage foundation and I really have been liking this and I'm going to be trying to apply it with this Michael Todd brush and I was also given this brush and I have to say this is a fail for me it's a big fail I've used it for the last three mornings and let's see if I can even get it turned off and on so it did go on that's good but I can't get the thing off it's just really strange in fact you know I'm not going to use this I'm so sorry I don't know Michael Todd if I just got a lemon but I can't get the thing off and even when I finally did manage to use it I really did not like the feel of this brush it just seemed very loppy and it just did not do a good job of applying my foundation I'm trying to get the thing off I, I'm sorry I, I better stop the video so I can turn it off <laughs> Maybe I just need to take out its battery and put it out of its misery now I'm really sorry Michael Todd but as you can see ladies if it's a fail it's a fail and that was a fail so I'm going to go ahead and apply the Becca foundation and I really do like this foundation I think I generally this week have used a little bit too much I need to uh, use a little less than I normally would because it has a very thick feel to it when you first put it on your skin and if you're not careful you will over apply which I think I was earlier in the week it still gave a very very pretty finish I'm just going to take this and spread it down here and I'm going to go ahead and use the brush which I normally use which is the Claire Sonic makeup brush head and I'm going to spritz it with a little bit of my Urban Decay All Nighter get a little bit wet there and go ahead and just apply that foundation and as you can see it does blend out very beautifully and gives a very very natural skin like finish I was very impressed with this foundation and I'll show you a little wear test later in the day so you can see how it wears but I I have really been liking this and it has been wearing very beautifully earlier in the week I've worn it three days now and quite honestly I applied it a little heavy-handed I think on those other days my this is a beautiful beautiful foundation love this foundation And as you can see, it just gives me a very natural skin-like finish. Very, very pretty. 
Now, I've also been using this Becca Under Eye Concealer Cream for the week, and as you all know, I have a lot of issues under my eyes, especially now because I have this Mohs incision that still is in the process of healing. So earlier this week when I tried this, this did not work as my under eye concealer as the main one. But what I do is I just take a little bit of it and just kind of pat it over my Tarte Shape Tape to give a little bit of a brightening look. And if you didn't have anything really to cover under your eyes, this might work. However, the little bit of shimmer that this adds, I'm not sure that that's the best for our more mature eyes. Okay, it has been about nine hours since I applied this. I applied this Becca foundation at about 6 a.m. this morning, and it's three o'clock in the afternoon, and this is how it looks now. And as you can tell, I have done nothing to touch up my face. I have no more lipstick. It has been gone hours ago. But in terms of the finish, it is still a very, very beautiful finish. Very, very skin-like, very natural. This is a very close-up look, and let me look in the mirror and see how it's looking. In the areas around here, I think it is still very nice, and it is not overly dewy, which really surprises me because that primer, that Becca primer, is a little bit of an illuminating primer, but I think it is very, very pretty, and I'm even surprised that my large pores don't seem to be showing that much, and in terms of wearability, it looks like it's totally fine around my forehead. It is wearing off somewhat in my nose area, which my foundations always do because I have very, very oily skin. And in my chin area, it's maybe a little bit worn off here. But I think for nine hours, I think it's looking very, very good. And it is a very full coverage foundation. And again, apply it more lightly. You can get a little bit of a pasty look if you overdo the amount that you apply. But I think this is a very, very nice foundation. And I'm going to keep wearing this and, and working with it because I think it could be one of my favorites. Now, let's get into the birthday giveaway products, and I absolutely love these products. There are seven products that you can win in my birthday giveaway, and here they all are, kind of in mass here, but I'll go through and explain them to you because these really are some of my absolute favorite products. This first product is a little tiny eyeshadow palette, and it's the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette, and I will show you mine because I have been using this and loving this. And how I came to like this is I have been a year on YouTube and I must have 50 eyeshadow palettes. And amazingly enough, I got to the end of last year and I really couldn't find one that did it all for me that I really absolutely loved. And then I saw this little palette being reviewed on the Ms. Gold Girl channel. It's Marnie Goldberg, and I have an advantage in that we have exactly the same coloring. So anything that she can wear, I can usually wear. But she raved about this little palette, and if you don't know Marnie, go over to her channel and subscribe. She is amazing. And tell her I said hi, by the way. But this palette absolutely does everything, and it's very surprising. Because as you can see, it has a wonderful under brow color, which most of them do. But then it has these two wonderful little shimmery colors, which are absolutely great to put on the center of your lid. I basically like a matte eyeshadow, except for the middle of that lid where I really like some shimmer. And then it has two browns for the crease. It has a warmer brown and a cooler brown. I actually have the cooler brown on now. In fact, I have this cooler brown color. I have this color under the brow. And then I have this little color right here. I'd say the outer three-fourths of the upper lid. This is absolutely a beautiful little palette. It does everything. I really don't have to have a huge palette. And I particularly like the small size of this because I do take my eyeshadow with me to work because I'm very oily skinned and even my eyelids are oily. So sometimes maybe around one o'clock in the afternoon, I will reapply a little bit of eyeshadow. Not that you have to do that with these shadows. These Smashbox Photo Op eyeshadows are some of the best eyeshadows I have ever used. They are wonderful. My next favorite product you have probably seen in a lot of videos because I keep trying to get something different in the waterline other than this. And I always come back to this because there is nothing like it in terms of staying in your waterline all day. In fact, I applied this product about eight hours ago in my waterline. And as you can tell, you can still see it. And tonight, Alan and I are going to a movie. And when I get home from the movie, this stuff will still be on. It is an amazing, amazing product. It is perfect in the waterline area. It just wakes up your eyes and it gives the illusion that your eyes are slightly larger. I can't recommend this product highly enough. And again, you're getting this product as part of my favorites giveaway. And now, this little eyeshadow stick, I absolutely love this. And if you get the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette, you really don't even need this because this little palette has the wonderful little shimmery colors for your lids, which are fabulous. But most eyeshadow palettes don't necessarily have that one little pop color that you need for your lids to give your eyes that va-va-voom. And this little stick totally takes care of that. This is the Maybelline 24 Hours Color Tattoo Stick Eyeshadow Crayon. 
and it is in the color Barely Beige. I better not open it because this is yours, but I'll show you my well-used version. This is the little color that comes with it. I'll go ahead and swatch that on the back of my hand. See that? That is absolutely the perfect little lid color and it stays on your eyes pretty much all day long but I do carry this around with me because sometimes when you get to the afternoon and your eyeshadow looks a little drab all it takes is a little finger full of this on both eyes to really wake you up and give you that sparkle and shine. Now the next product is a wonderful blush that I've been wearing on and off all through the year. In fact if I had one favorite blush color this would be it. This is the Milani Baked Blush in the color Dolce Pink. I love this particularly because it's not totally fuchsia and it's not totally salmon. It's a wonderful little mix of both colors. Therefore, anyone can wear this. It's absolutely a beautiful blush and it comes with a little bit of a highlight to it, which I really enjoy. Now, another thing that you'll be getting is this little Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. And this is one of my favorite products of 2017 for sure. I'll show you my version and I must have three or four of these. But how it works is that after you've applied your blush, you just go ahead and dip your same blush brush into that Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. And you see, it just gives you the most beautiful, natural little glow. See that? Absolutely a beautiful glow. It blends into the skin though. It's not one of those stroby glows that you would want when you're 18 years old. It's one that looks very, very natural and just wonderful. And this is something that I really use about every day. Now, with spring coming up, we all need a wonderful spring lipstick and I'm including that in the gift as well. And this is the L'Oreal Color Riche Lip Shine Lipstick in 906 Burnish Blush. And I'm going to show you my lipstick tube so I don't get yours kind of germy or whatever. But that is what that color looks like. Absolutely a beautiful little pinky rose, kind of a salmon-y color. Absolutely perfect. I'll swatch it on my hand for you. There it is. Very, very beautiful spring color. I love the color, of course, but more than that, I love that it is not a matte lipstick. In fact, these little L'Oreal lipsticks, and there are a variety of them, and I have almost all of them, they are called Lip Shine Lipsticks, and I am so happy to see Shine coming back again. I kept trying to use mattes through the last year, and once in a while I will, but you know, when we get to be a little older, we do have some lip lines, you know, around the lips and even on the lips, and so those matte lipsticks can just make us look old and dead and dry, and that's not a good look for us. When we get to be a little more grown up, we want a little shine, a little radiance, we want all those lip lines to blend in, and this lipstick does just that. Now the last product that you get with this birthday giveaway is this e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. That's how it looks in its little package. And I'll go ahead and spray it on to show you what it looks like, but I'm pretty shiny right now because it's been like eight hours since I applied most of this makeup. I did a little reapplication, but you just take this and just do that, and it just gives you a little bit of a glow. It's especially good after you apply your loose powder all over your face to take away that pasty look and give you a little bit more of that youthful glow. Now, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe. I have an absolutely wonderful skincare video that's coming up. I am so excited about it. It has to do with my visit to my nail salon and seeing my beautiful little nail person and some wonderful skincare tips that she gave me. I'm going to be trying her kind of Asian secret to skincare, and I'll be doing befores and afters with that, and her skin is absolutely gorgeous at 40. I mean, at 40, most of us don't have that flawless kind of shiny look to our skin anymore that the 18-year-olds have, but I was amazed this girl was 40. In fact, I wanted to see if I could fix her up with my son, but I thought she was too young. I thought she was maybe 24 and my son is 34. And I was shocked when I found out she was 40 and that made me ask about her skincare. And she had just started this new skincare within the past year and she's convinced that the skincare is what made her have this radiant look. And I can hardly wait to share that with you. I hope I have the same good results she did. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and today is no exception. I'm going to be drawing from these Life Loves You cards by Louise Hay. I've taken out the duplicates, so we're about to run out of cards, ladies. Maybe I'll have to find a new card deck. Let's see. Ooh, this is good. I choose to live with ease. I choose to live with ease. Life does not have to be as difficult as you sometimes make it. That's true. Complete this sentence. One way I could let my life be easier is, and I know exactly what this would be, ladies, and for me, it is turning things over to God. And that is something that I've worked on pretty much my whole life from about my early 40s on. I realized that sometimes when I get in with my wrench and try to fix my life and figure things out and plot and scheme, 
that I don't do a very good job. That the best thing I can do is suit up and show up and do the best that I can in each situation, but then give the process and the results to God. Sometimes when we're in there, you know, rolling up our sleeves and really just plotting, scheming, trying to fix things, sometimes the best thing that we can do is throw the situation up in the air and say, God, please take care of me. I know you're a good God and you want what's best for me. And I trust that you're going to take care of the situation in the best way possible. Because sometimes when we get all involved in our difficult situations, we make things more difficult for ourselves. Sometimes the best thing we can do is to say, God, take charge of this. You're in control and I will follow you. Take care. See you next time.